Today we're looking at the wonderful world of micro tours or small caravans. We had a sort of caravan that you could hook up to a Fiat 500, tow it off to the site and uh, with one fell swoop you could manoeuvre the caravan onto the pitch using your bare hands and just pushing it like some six million dollar man. But, but, but are they any good? That's the question. And are they worth the money? And who would buy them? That's three questions. Anyway, we'll have a look. So before you rush off and purchase one of these micro caravans, there's a few things you need to know. Firstly, obviously, they're small. That goes without saying. And um, secondly, they're probably not as cheap as you might think they are. So I'm now sitting in our Bailey Unicorn, which is eight meters long and however wide. And it was 26,000 pound as a new caravan. Now these micro caravans, there's uh, one you can purchase, which is four meters long. And how much would you say it was? I'd say half of 26, right? No, 22,000 pounds. So with most of the caravan industry now, but well, pretty much all of them are now making eight foot wide models. What's the market for something that's four meters long or even in some cases less? And something this week that really got my attention was that a lot of the larger manufacturers make these micro caravans or teardrop caravans or whatever you want to call them. I, and I wasn't really aware of this. I knew, I actually knew that Naus made them because it was originally me seeing the Naus that made me look more closely at the smaller caravans because I'd really do like the Naus one. But Naus uh, Swift um, Airstream as well, they make micro caravans. So there must be a market for them, one that I've, but as I keep saying, I'm not their target audience. So, but this is me trying to understand why people like them. So all this rambling about micro tours, um, you might ask what experience I have of them. Well, of course I have no experience of them. I'm, um, we're only a small YouTube channel, so we, we wouldn't get, um, wouldn't get a manufacturer wanting to give us a model to review. So I'm left with just looking at YouTube videos and, and drawing my own conclusions. However, having said, I haven't reviewed any of these. I do have a surprise. Um, in fact, it's a surprise guest reviewer who has had a look at one of these caravans for us. So it's a guest, guest reviewer that we're probably, probably only using once as, well, if you ask me, he's not particularly professional, but he'll do his best, I've no doubt. You've done, you have done the review, haven't you? Like, yeah, the review of the micro caravan, the small caravan. Because um, you remember the last time I asked you to do a Swift Caravan review. Yeah, that's right. No, I know you didn't understand. No, no, no. A 30 second caravan review is a Swift Caravan review. I understand. I, I agree. But I wanted you to I wanted you to review a caravan made by Swift. I didn't want you to do a Swift Caravan review. Yeah, OK, yeah. OK, it was my fault. So please don't tell me you've done a small caravan review. You've done a review of a small caravan, uh, yeah. Oh, good. Okay. So without further ado, we'll have a look at my guest reviewer's review of a micro small caravan. So thanks again, Graham, for giving me the opportunity to review this micro caravan. As you can see, there's plenty of space here, and I'm sure it'd be well suited for a family of two people and maybe even a dog. Um, I'm sure you're going to enjoy the toilet on this because it's perfectly usable. Um, oh my god! I've no, I know, I know what, I know, I know what you've done. You were just in the in the corner of this caravan doing a review and pretending it was a small caravan, weren't you? And they, they what? They, they wouldn't lend you. Of course, they wouldn't lend you. Of course, they wouldn't lend you a caravan to do a review. No, what? It wasn't. It's not. It's not. It's not because you've only got two hundred subscribers. That is not the reason they didn't lend you. You, they, did, they didn't lend you a caravan. I know they didn't. Well, even Bailey didn't. Even Bailey didn't lend you a caravan, and they're lending it to lending them to everybody else. So apologies for my colleague, my esteemed colleague, messing up the review there. I had no idea he was going to do that. Honestly, um, what I will do, I'll show you a few clips of caravans, of micro caravans that I've found on YouTube, and I'll show you them now. In addition, you've got a slightly smaller table than the one we showed last year. This is so you can get round it more easily with two people and not so pushed against the sides of the seats here. 
were you expecting him to be that small? I'm not entirely convinced I was. That guy has like squashed up into the corner of the caravan, just like much, just like our review, really. And underneath, there is a little chemical loo, which you probably want to put in the awning. A toilet that I'd probably want to put in the awning. I I I'm, I'm just imagining this now. If I'm using, if I'm using that toilet in the awning. How, how, am I, how am I going to, I'm going to have to get curtains for the only right, I can't. Or do you use it in the caravan and then put the toilet in the... I just... Well, let me know your thoughts about using that toilet. It wouldn't suit me. So, no, I don't even want to go into any details on that. It's just, I'm I'm in shock. So we do have a bit more bit more footage that we can share with you. Uh, it's not our footage, again, Caravan TV. Go and check out their YouTube channel again. Let's have a look dining table for at least two, you might fit three around it, and loads of other accessories. Let me show you around. This micro tourer has all the home essentials. There's a fridge, albeit a cool box style fridge made by Dometic. That's not a, f that's not a fridge, it's a cool box. <laughs> I bought a cool box a couple of uh, months ago for my car, it cost 80 pounds from Halfords. It's the same as that. Okay, it wasn't a Dometic, but that's the fridge. I mean, you get, I've seen those fridges in camper vans and you wouldn't get three people around that table. Absolutely no way. Most people who caravan are not small people. Okay, I mean, it's just, it's just, most people aren't small people when you look at those caravans. How the hell is anybody going to get around that table and have a meal? So these few clips I've used there were from Caravan TV YouTube channel. Go and have a look, they're a good channel. Um, they do good reviews on caravans like this that not most other people won't do. So go and have a look and maybe give them a subscribe if you if you like them. So, so now that's got me that's got me thinking, thinking about how a company would decide on designing one of these caravans. I mean, can you just imagine the conversation in the boardroom with the owner and the designer? Okay, good stuff. I have this idea for a caravan. Now, a lot of caravan manufacturers, as you know, are going bigger and better, eight foot wide. We're gonna be different. We're gonna go smaller. Well, well sir, um, with all due respect, are, are people like more space now? That's the thing, people don't wanna be cramped and, you know. Well, most people don't know what they want, good stuff. I can see it now. Everything is pod this and pod that, iPod this, iPod that at the moment. Don't you agree? Well. Before you say anything, hear me out. I've got the name. I Caravan Pod. Do you see what I did there? I've got the word caravan and iPod. Keeping up with the times, absolutely up to date, bang up to date, good stuff. What do you think about that? Um, well, so I'm um, uh, sorry to mention this, but the uh, iPod thing was probably 10, 10 years ago, maybe, maybe. Well, good stuff. That is an absolutely good and valid point. That's why I pay you the big bucks and why you come up with the ideas like that. That's good. Well done. Have a pay rise. But I do have another idea in a similar in a similar vein. Get this. I cara pad. See? I've shortened the word cara, which makes it a short caravan, a small caravan, and I've got iPad in there. So would I buy one? You could probably guess the answer would be no. I don't really understand what it would give me or us as a as a family. Um, the only one I would even consider looking at is that now so Desio, I think you pronounce it, the twin axle um, smaller caravan, rear door at the back, and it just, just I like the style of it. And there's something about the Naus that that I do like. Um, who do I think they'd suit? Maybe. maybe Oh, there could be a mix of the people that I've already mentioned with the young people that would like to explore. Um, I'm not sure about retired people, whether they'd be a particularly good match for it. Um, possibly a circus contortionist uh, would be good because getting round that table that we saw in the video there, you'd, you'd have to be either a contortionist or maybe the size of Warwick Davis. Um, you know, they're not big, we obviously know that. And I think in all honesty, you'd you'd need to be quite comfortable being in small spaces and if anyone that's claustrophobic I don't think you're going to get on with this kind of size of caravan at all in any way shape or form. So if none of the things I've mentioned previously bother you then you might be very well suited to one of these caravans and if you are suited to them and even if you've got one I'd really really be interested in your comments below because 
yeah, we all we all live and learn. So let me know your thoughts. Do you like mini micro tourers caravans? Are they really a substitute for camper vans or even trailer tents? I mean, I could be wrong. I could be convinced to buy one. Who knows? I, I mean, it's not something I'd buy right now because we've only just replaced our caravan. But in the future, when our needs change, you never know. I mean, I never say never, so I wouldn't absolutely 100% rule them out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching it. And uh, thumbs up if you do like it. Consider subscribing. Thumbs down if you don't like it. Um, you know, that's, that's fine as long as you watch it. And if you don't like it, I'd, feedback is always great, positive and negative, because we can all learn. Thanks again.